So let's bring in our floor show. As we hit session highs for the markets, joining me now with $237 billion in assets under management, Northwestern Mutual Wealth's Chief Investment Officer, Brent Schutte, and Wall Street veteran trader, Teddy Weisberg of Seaport Securities. Brent, I I'm going to toss this to you first. So the first 50 basis point hike to tamp down demand and hence inflation, that was May, just a couple weeks ago, appears at least at the moment to have been water off a duck's back. It's not helping to tamp down inflation. Now, some CEOs are warning, but others say that people are still spending. Which side do you as a wealth manager take for your investors at the moment? Sure. I think people overall are still spending. They're just spending differently. And if you look at the earnings reports, those show that. So think about, tar uh, think about Walmart. Think about Amazon. Think about Target. They all noted a healthy consumer, just that the consumer was shifting their spending back to services from goods. And so if you think about the past few years, the consumer was stuck inside, stuck in their homes, uh, they received stimulus and they spent it on goods. They pulled forward a lot of demand. And unfortunately, some of these companies actually um, thought that was going to continue and they built inventories. And that's where the disappointments came from. And so overall, I do think that that's actually going to have a downward pressure that's going to be pretty substantial on inflation because goods inflation is really what has driven overall inflation. And I think that's going to, to really pull back as you see these companies having to lower prices and you see the consumer move more towards services. And so to me, the consumer is still healthy. Certainly the price hikes in energy and gas that you mentioned are not helping. Uh, but overall, they will be getting better in the coming quarters as everything else starts declining in price. And I see inflation pulling back towards 2 to 3 percent on core towards the end of the year. Well, see, that's why I think it's interesting that we have you, Brett, because you have a completely kind of different prism through which you're looking. You had worried in the past that valuations were too rich. You wanted to see them come down. And you said, you know, buy on any dips. So what are you looking at at the moment that you think is attractive finally? Sure. We've been talking a lot about the market dislocation that occurred alongside the economic dislocation. And so if you think about the liquidity largesse that's been out there for the past couple of years, people have used that to buy growth stocks. People have used that to buy hope streams, themes and meme stocks. And those are the areas of the market that were incredibly expensive and due for a pullback. The good news is that that pullback has not been across all asset classes or all parts of the market. Value stocks, for example, an area which we still like, mm -hmm. are only down around 6%. Uh, year to date. And so that's the area that we think you should be looking more towards things that are cheaper, things that make sense, things that have a cushion uh, against some declining earnings. Teddy, as a trader, uh, we started off by saying that was then, this is now. And we have seen a totally different change in tone from not all CEOs, because as, as you saw, Nordstrom is saying, yay, you know, luxury spenders are still out there. But you, you've really heard a change in tone during the conference calls. And that makes me wonder, do you think that the Fed is going to start to wobble and say, well, wait a minute, now maybe we should only do one more 50 basis point cut? Or, or do you think that they realize that the, the, if you have to choose between the two evils, inflation, <laughs> tamping it down, hiking rates and, uh, you know, worrying about the markets, you're going to go with tamping down inflation? Well, I think they have, you know, they're sort of between a rock and a hard place, Liz, because they're going to be damned if they do and damned if they don't. Mm. Because the, uh, the way I see it, uh, uh, the energy, energy inflation and food inflation is not going away anytime soon. And I, I think that ra raising interest rates uh, has an effect on the overall economy uh, t to a large degree. But I think that also to a certain degree that the energy issues and the, and the food commodity issues are outside of whatever they can do. And so I, I really think that those two problems are going to create huge issues for the for the consumer in general. Uh, as, far, as far as interest rates and what they're going to do, I don't think we learned anything new today. You know, they speak out of both sides of their mouth, so it's kind of hard to figure out. Okay, what I know Teddy, asking. but but and, and I meant to say 50 basis point hike, not not right. cut, but because in my mind it's been so many years <laughs> since we were cutting rates. But you just <laughs> saw uh, the Atlanta Fed chief. Uh, Bostic, Raphael Bostic, uh, starting to say, well, you know, the Fed should really be careful and not be reckless. That's indicated to me, I mean, maybe I'm reading too much between the lines, but that they're starting to to get scared. And they're thinking... Well, I well, don't know if they're getting scared, but but clearly, you know, they're, they're sitting on the head of a pin. Now, it shouldn't be all about the stock market, obviously, yeah. from the standpoint of your viewers and, and the folks in the business, we would like it to be all about the stock market. But there's a much bigger picture out there. And the stock market, obviously, is going to reflect what they do or they don't do. Okay. 
uh, I would say with 150 point, 150 bit rise uh, on top of a 25 bit rise and maybe another one, if that's enough to scare a Fed member or the Fed, then we have bigger problems yes, than we realize. Agreed. agreed. Um, Teddy, Brent, thank you. And while you two were on the screen, we hit a brand new session high, the Dow session high, up 306. We're up just up 304, so we're right almost there at the moment. Big moves, a rally right now in full play. Let's see if it holds.